Today, Congressman Hal Rogers of the 5th District made Kentucky history. He became the state's longest serving member of Congress. He was honored in Frankfurt for 40 years of service. And he told LEX 18's political reporter, Carolina Buchek, he has no plans to stop anytime soon. 40 years ago, an Eastern Kentucky man first appeared on TV. I'm Hal Rogers, Republican, Kentucky. And this man has become a constant in Congress. We've seen over the years President Reagan attempted to make the deficit a political issue. Fast forward four decades later, and we come to today, September 2nd of 2021, the day Rogers became Kentucky's longest serving member of Congress. At the Kentucky State House, Rogers was honored for his service to the people of Eastern Kentucky, one of the poorest congressional districts in the country. Voters first sent Congressman Rogers to Washington in 1981. That's more than 40 years ago now. As of today, he has served 14,852 days in office. That is 21 consecutive terms. And he says he's not done yet. He plans to run for another term. In my case, 40 years is not enough. Rogers says he has a lot of work left to do for an area that often struggles. Well, there's a lot of people that need help, that uh, still need it. Uh, there's a lot of problems that we are working on that needs to be finished. Flood projects, highway projects, sewer projects, things that people desperately need. So uh, that motivates me to ask for their support. Now Rogers is 40 years in office haven't exactly been smooth sailing. He has faced a good amount of criticism throughout his time in Congress. Hiring and your question is, how can you say the question is how can you say that it's evenly distributed? But Rogers says he focuses on the improvements he has brought to his people and he hopes they'll give him a chance to do more. Did you ever imagine you would do this? for this long? No, no it's, that's, a, that's a dream worth dreaming, but I, I didn't think that people would put up with me that much. So this tape of Rogers' journey may be full, but it's not his last one. In Frankfurt, Carolina Buchak, LEC News.